Hi everyone. Here I have a battery drill and uh, it doesn't work. It's powerless. Uh, I've had it for a very, very long time. I think actually I've had this since I was about 16 or 17 or something like that, maybe 18. So it's 12 years old, I'd say, something like that. And yeah, I'd say the battery is dead in it. So if we take a look at the battery, you can see that it's 14.4 uh, volt, uh, 1.3 amp, and 14.4 volts. Oh, well, it says on there it's cadmium, so nickel cadmium. 14.4 volts though, um, I'm thinking that I could make an equivalent battery with lithium ion cells, and I much prefer lithium ion cells than the old cadmium ones. So let's see if I can open this up and we'll see what's inside. Fourteen point four volts. So, how many cells does that equate to? Um, so, three point six multiplied by two is seven point two. Um, so that would be fourteen point four. So that is about right, actually. So, if I was to replace this with four lithium ion cells, we should be good. Now, I can't actually find a charger for this, and the charger for it, if I could find it, might not be suitable for lithium ion cells, because I'm not totally familiar with the chemistry of uh, these nickel cadmium cells, and I'm not sure, you know, about how the nominal voltage works and Vmax and all that. I know what it is with lithium ion, and I know with lithium ion, um, low is around about 3 volts, or 3 point something, um, and high is 4.2. Anyway, so what have we got here? We've got, well, this is a bit strange, isn't it? These are very old cells. So there's some sort of, I don't know, what would you call some sort of, uh, I don't know what it, what it is really, some sort of makeup collection of cells. So. I'd imagine they're all dead. So I need to get these out. And that's a hell of a lot of cells. And this is very strong cardboard as well. Right, I need to get these things out anyway. There's no point in looking at what these are because it's fairly straightforward. That one does nothing. That one is black wire so that will be ground and this one will be plus 14 volts. Whoa. Okay, that's out. Weird things, aren't they? Hading nickel cadmium battery, 1.2 volts, 1,300 milliamp. I'll keep these actually, because they may have a bit of life left in them. I doubt it, but you never know. Oh, I need to keep that as well, of course. So, I'm going to have to try and salvage that. Yeah, I'll keep that to one side. I need these cells out. I'll just keep gnawing. Ah, oh, there you go. I was going to say, I'll just keep gnawing at them, and they'll come eventually. And there they are. So, that's good. I'll need to keep that end as well. But anyway. So, here are the old cells. And as you can see, they're quite large, and comparatively, they're rubbish compared to the lithium ion cells. So the lithium ion cells, um, well, one lithium ion cell equates to roughly three of these. Um, and the lithium ion cells are about half the size, so, yeah, it's a bit crazy. But anyway... Let's check the voltage of these and see if they've actually got any voltage. I doubt they have, but who knows. Put clip that, whoops. In fact, let's just keep this easy and put one here. And one here. And the voltage is minus, oh right, okay. It has got, it has got some charge, you know. Let's do this properly.
Yeah. 1.3 volts. <coughs> Which means that's fully charged. Uh, I would imagine. But it has no power anyway. So I think maybe the capacity is no good or something. So I need to replace, I need to make some sort of um, way of linking up four lithium ion cells to this and then to charge it up I'll need to do something with that too. Um, charging it up is fairly easy because it's just used a constant current um, method to charge it and for that I'll use my DC power supply probably until I get a proper charger. So anyway I hope, or I think anyway, that if I was to replace that with these lithium ion cells, I think I'd revive my battery. Um, my Sorry, my drill, not my battery. Well, battery as well as a drill. So, yeah. Let's see what happens. Right, so I'll just move all this junk out of the way. Apart from, apart from this bit here, I can just take this off. This is the cathode uh, bit of the battery bank if you like, I'll just get rid of that rubbish now and here's the anode bit, so we've got the cathode bit, the anode bit and that bit I don't need this cardboard junk so these are the pieces we're going to need right now I just happened to have found this and it's something that I was working on ages ago, it's a bit of, pro a, bit of a project um, but anyway, very simply what this is, is it's uh, four lithium ion cell um, holders just wired in series, nothing uh, special about it um, and there's a bit of heat shrink on them so fairly good job so I think I'll use this and what I'll do is, I mean I haven't tried it at the moment but what I think I'll do is um, try and, I don't know, take these together or something like that just tape them and put them in there and hopefully it'll work oh there you go, perfect so or is it perfect actually? Just one minute, let's have a quick look. Just shove those in there for now. Let's see if this, this thing works. Oh yeah, it will work. Wow, that's perfect. They fit perfectly, so that's really good. So, this job is going to be very easy. Um, so I'll take these back out. I'm going to stuck on something. And that's really good. Let's see if I can knock all that dust out of there. better. Right. So what am I going to do now? I have to wire this up now. So that was the cathode. So that would go in in there like that. How did it actually go now? I can't remember. It was something like that in there. Oh right, here we go. We've got this thing. So yeah, the cathode goes there. Where's the anode? Right, there's the anode. The anode would go there. However it was. was it like, yeah, it was like that. Right, okay. So it's just a case of resoldering these pieces to where I need them to go. We'll start with the cathode piece because that's going to be the easiest piece. Um, I'll probably... I don't know, let's see. Yeah, it'd probably be easy to snip that and just resolder it. So I'll take that off. Snip that. I need a bit more heat, I think. Is it going to come off? More heat. And there we go, it's off. <coughs> and now let's try and put it back on. I think I'm going to have to get rid of that solder. Or possibly not. Let's, let's see. I don't need that heat shrink anymore. I think I'll give it a go. It might, it might just about work. <coughs> 